What's up, Fast Black Desert Mobile fans? In today's video, I'm going to go over 10 tips and tricks to help you in your journey in Black Desert Mobile. I've recently had some subscribers ask me for updated lists as it has been a while since I've last done one of these. With Black Desert Mobile ever evolving, these tips and tricks evolve with the game as well. So I've put together 10 of the best tips and tricks I can think of to help you in your journey. Before we get into these, I recommend checking out the description down below for additional badass Black Desert Mobile content. You won't be disappointed. And with that being said, let's dive right in. Tip number one is about accessory selection chests. Black Desert Mobile has had many events giving away accessory selection chests as well as purchasable ones from the Pearl Shop. Sometimes you are close to crafting a red accessory, whether it's a ring or a bracelet. I do recommend, however, to always choose a necklace. When you combine them for a red accessory, necklaces are always worth the most. And when slash if you feed them to your Black Spirit, you get two Kaffir Secret book pages instead of one, like the rest of the red accessories. Pink accessories just released, and therefore these are what you're going to want to go for. Make it easier on yourself and select the necklace. Are you having a hard time getting your totem leveled? Oftentimes you'll start off with 900 totems and are trying to level up your current totem. It's always best to have multiple leveled up totems. For example, if you have a totem at plus four and the rest are at plus three, I advise leveling a few totems to plus four before trying to go to a plus five and so on. Also, you want to manually level your totems. It's more successful than auto leveling them. I know it can be time consuming, but you will find more luck leveling them manually. I do always recommend having a backup totem at the same level. That way, if you do lose levels, you don't lose combat power. You wanna always keep a backup. Tip number three, when leveling your gear, this is similar to totems. You always wanna level up a spare set of gear. I recommend a one slot orange gear. Leveling this piece of gear up until you get the preferred level, whether it's pen or hex or hep, if you try leveling up your main piece of gear, you could fail and end up losing combat power. Even if it's temporary, this could hurt you. Also, this allows you to use the red gear you currently have on your main and put it on an alt if you are going for pink gear. Tip number four, Layton has a chance to drop solid goodies like Hadoom runes or even the Black Rock Shrine in the Great Desert. Are you missing out on these two items? If so, I recommend joining the following Discord, which you can also find in the description down below. This Discord covers all of the regions, all of the servers for each region. When Layton pops, the Discord notifies you if you keep your notifications on for this Discord. Not to mention, if the Layton drops a Black Rock Shrine, the community will help to let you know by checking whether a Black Rock Shrine dropped or not. This way, you will know if a Layton comes and if he drops, drops a Black Rock Shrine. I have been a part of this Discord for about a month now, and it has helped me keep up to date with the Black Rock Shrines. These BRSs offer huge rewards like Chaos Crystals, World Boss Fragments, and Valk Scrolls. Not to mention, you do have a chance at a red accessory. Do yourself a favor and join that Discord today. The Black Sun PvP area offers some solid rewards. However, if you are a smaller CP player, it can be difficult to get any real points and receive these rewards. Typically, you'll be farming peacefully and some big CP player will come by and gank you and take 30% of your points. Your best option is to lock down an entire zone. Now, to lock down a zone, it varies depending on the size of the zone you are trying to lock down. To lock down a zone, you need between 30 and 50 people inside of the zone. This way, some big whales can't jump into the zone and have heyday with you and your guild. I know what you're thinking, 50 people. It is hard to find a guild with 50 people online doing Black Sun at the same time. You can also team up with another guild. As long as you both agree not to attack each other, just to farm mobs. You have to both agree on the zone. You both fill the zone as quickly as possible when the Black Sun appears. If there's anyone else not in one of the two guilds inside of the zone, then you'll obviously need to kill these two people unless they're part of the two guilds. Once locked down and nobody leaves, nobody will be enter able to enter that instance and zone that you have locked down, therefore allowing you and your guild to farm peacefully and gain points so you can reap those juicy rewards. Tip number six is hands down the best on the list. 
That is understanding what's out on the Korea servers. Korean servers have content that we do not have yet. Most of that content on the Korea servers will come to global, which means if you know what's on the Korean servers, you can understand what's coming to global. That way, when it does come, you are ahead of the game. There's a few ways to stay ahead and up to date with the Korean server. First way is to download the Korean version of the game yourself. That way you can play the game and content yourself. To do this, you can download the game via the TapTap -Tap App Store, which you can be found on the Google Play Store. The second way is to subscribe to this channel as I do cover content that's out on the Korean servers, but not yet on the global servers. Why create a new account on the Korean servers when I can do that for you? Now, I do know I'm not the greatest at understanding this content as it does have to be translated. So I also recommend checking out the following YouTube channels for additional Korean content. The first one is IceX Games. He is a longtime Black Desert Mobile content creator. He is one of the few English speaking and easy to understand. He covers a variety of Black Desert Mobile, global and Korean content and understands the game thoroughly. You can check him out in the description down below. The second is CU. This man focuses on kills per minute for every class. He tests each new class as it's released, and anytime a rebalance is done, he is sure to update his list. This is important to understand as we are playing a game that makes us farm for kills 95% of the time. The next has to be translated. For translation, I'm getting StarTube. This gentleman does not speak English, but you can get some good content from him if you pay close attention to his videos. He focuses on Black Desert Mobile exclusively and is one of the top BDM Korean YouTubers. Last, but definitely not least, is not a Korean YouTuber, but he does stay up to date with Korean classes, and in my opinion, gives some of the best PvP YouTube videos out there right now, and that is Smithy. These are simply my recommendation. I do know there's a few other YouTubers out there that give great quality content for Black Desert Mobile. Again, all of these channels can be found in the description down below. You won't be disappointed. Tip number seven focuses on the Pearl Shop. The Pearl Shop offers solid goodies for free to play and pay to win alike. Taking advantage of these goodies is a paramount for gaining some combat power. For example, good things to purchase from the Pearl Shop right now are the Lightstone package for 450 black pearls. That gives you 45,000 Lightstones. You can purchase this three times, which is 135,000 Lightstones in total. That can give you a good amount of Holy Vials to be able to farm in Hadoom. That can be purchased weekly. I also recommend buying the one black pearl chicken soups four times daily, as well as the Cron Stones. You can buy 300 Cron Stones for 450 black pearls three times per week. That's almost, almost enough to craft one pink crystal per week. There's also random events sometimes like the current launch shop event, which allows you to spend special tokens, black pearls, and even silver. There's also the Talus Shop, which is currently has items for free on them. You do want to take advantage of all these goodies as much as possible. Now you're probably thinking, that's a lot of Black Pearls to spend every week. So tip number eight focuses on the best ways to acquire Black Pearls. The obvious first answer is by progressing your arenas. Every new level up unlocks additional Black Pearls. These stack up, so every level up gives additional Black Pearls. These do reset monthly. The next and best way is to level up your boss rushes. We recently, recently received Hadoom boss rushes, which give a lot more experience per boss rush. And every few levels of a boss rush offers Black Pearl as rewards, which does grow as you get higher as your, and as your boss rushes level up. So be sure to be doing these as much as possible and always be progressing them, as they do also have amazing rewards as you unlock new levels. You can also sell the purple and yellow accessories you acquire from random events or world bosses in the market. I typically sell these weekly and have success making a few hundred black pearls every week from selling these items. The ninth tip is focused on your Rift Stone. Your Rift Stone can add some serious combat power. It has 300 levels and you gain 5 AP and 5 DP per level. That's 3000 combat power in total. Leveling your Rift Stone is very important to increasing your combat power. One great way is for to farm Black Rock Altars. These Altars do require stamina, but you can find them throughout the Great Desert. You also get Chaos Crystals from Black Sun PvP event, regular events, as well as the Black Rock Shrine and Hadoom Farming. 
They've recently released the Blazing Chaos Crystals, which gives one guaranteed level for each one of these you can farm in the Hadoom Realm. I do recommend only enhancing your Rift Stone once you're at 100% for the regular Chaos Crystals. The last tip, number 10, is one that quite a few of my subscribers have asked me about, so I figured I would cover it here, and that is how to fast level. Over the past year, leveling your character has been a forever grind and will continue that way for forever, really. It's farming, it is a farming game, so expect to always be chasing that next level. Getting to level 70 can happen relatively quickly. Now, the best way to do this with a new character is to farm in Hadoom Realm. Obviously, this does not work too well for brand new characters, but if you have your character with most of the main storyline done, up until South Medea, the quest line will unlock Hadoom. In order to do this successfully, you find a good spot where nobody else is farming and has good mob density. Once there, you want to enter Hadoom Realm on level 3, which gives you 500% experience boost. You also want to pop a chicken soup, a leader's blessing, if you have a character above the level of the character you're working on, obviously this will not work if this is your highest level character. Leader's Blessing offers some serious experience boost. Also be sure to have pets that offer experience as well as runes and a lightstone slab with experience. With all these done, you can easily get to level 60 within 30 minutes. Once you've hit level 60, you can now feed experience scrolls to your character. It takes 585 experience scrolls so if you've prepared correctly, you can stockpile 585. You should essentially be able to get to level 70 within 30 minutes. As soon as you hit level 60, pop the experience scrolls, and bam, you are level 70. The grind starts to slow down dramatically once you hit level 70 and even 80, so do prepare for the long haul. That covers everything in the tips and tricks video. I hope you've learned something. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments down below. You are also welcome to join my Discord, which you can find in the description as well. If you've enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that like button on your way out. And with that being said, I will see you next time.